All right, here with Maury head basketball coach Brandon Plummer. His Commodores just won the state championship for the school for the first time since 1927. Coach, you know, welcome to this gym today at VCU. Brought back memories of your days as a player 13 years ago. How does it feel to pull off what many thought in Norfolk was unthinkable, bringing Maury a state basketball championship? Oh, man, it just it feels great. It feels great, you know, for all the people that, you know, that doubted us, you know, after we took a loss in the beginning of the season, you know, a couple people doubted us. For my guys to just, you know, brush that loss off or the few losses that we did take and just keep coming and keep and keep growing, not get discouraged. Man, I'm just I'm just so proud of these guys and the work that they put in. Oh man, I'm just I'm just proud of them. It's certainly debatable on whether or not you win the state championship if you don't have those adversity moments. Last year, Salem and Regionals. This year, the 21.4 core lead against Grammy. But how sweeter is it that you went through that to get to this point? Oh, it's so much sweet. It tastes good too. It tastes good that we came out on top. It is sweet. Um, you know, a lot of times you, you go through things for a reason, and you might can't piece it together at the time. But you know, once you when you bounce back and, and you you know you put those differences aside and you just say we just gonna go forward. We're not thinking about what happened last year. We just gonna keep moving forward. And I mean, when you, when you see guys push that stuff off and just just want to win, you know, the sky's the limit. When you took this job replacing a legend in Jack Baker. Did you get the feeling that there was a lot of parallels from when you played at Booker T with Miles Holly and Antoine Perry, David Saunders, James Van that crew? There was a lot of similarities with this team, or did it kind of grow on you as you watched this team develop? It, it kind of grew on me as when this team developed, because my whole, my whole thing with this team at first was, you know, I, I kind of questioned how would they act with adversity, or do they do they just feel like they are that good, you know? So I had to. I had to, you know, break them down a little bit and humble them some and really show them that, you know, you got to get better. You're not as good as you think, mm -hmm. you know. But once they, once the season, as we was developing more and more, those guys were growing. They got tougher. They definitely got mentally tough. Definitely got mentally tough. And, um, you know, it, just, it was just good just to see them. But compared to my team, I seen it over. I seen it over the time. Not out the gate though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How important was it? A couple more for you let you run here. How important was it for this team coming off that? Those two emotional games. Really, a lot of emotional games. Eastern District. You got Hampton, Norview, Green Run, and LC Bird of Quarters, and then the big one for Ryan, defending champs. Mm -hmm. Defending state champs. Quick turnaround. That one day off. How important yeah. was it not to settle on that and rest on that and start fast today to get the double digit lead? Uh, it, was, it was very important. It was very important. I mean, we yeah, it was good to beat Verona, but we felt like we should have beat them. You know the way we prepared for them. And and, you know, and, and just and just was ready to go at that game. I mean, we had to put it to the side because we knew we, we knew we had a quick turnaround. And you know, our ultimate goal was to get a state championship. So Verona and LC Bird and everybody else, they were just in our way while we was on the mission. They was in our way, so we had to get rid of them. We had to put them away. So being ready for this quick turnaround, we our guys were showing up, up for the challenge. Last one, I thank you for your time. We look forward to following up with you and uh, watching the celebration from you guys winning the first state championships in 1927. So many guys contributed from Clarence Rupert to Chase Coleman to Matthew Menzi or Brian Phillips. Even the unsung guys that did the little things except in the role such as uh, DJ Wright and Keyshawn Tonsil and Corey Hollis. What are you going to take away from today and this season winning this championship? I would take away uh, a group of guys that you know, it fought to the end, you know, through all the adversity this team went through, um, that, that a lot of people don't know about, even myself, you know, family-wise, you know, these guys are really men. They, 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 they have turned into men, and the heart that they have, I mean, it's, it's, it's undeniable. It's undeniable, and those guys, man, I'm just, I'm just proud of them, man, and just... I don't think nothing not, nothing can stand in their way anymore. They broke a barrier. They broke a barrier. They've laid they they they've laid their legacy. They've laid their legacy. And you know, I just told those guys, leave your legacy. Whatever you're gonna do out here, leave your legacy. Leave it, whatever it is. Well Brandon Plummer Brandon Plummer's Commodore's crew from boys to men, they're state champs. Thanks so much, congrats. All right, thank you.